Hello everyone, today uh, I am responding to a question under my video of how to create a mirror matrix for salary increase with go seek function. So it's a question from Rimana asked me of how to calculate prorated salary. And uh, I think that's a very good question and it is also a case very commonly faced by HR professionals. So I am going to elaborate more on how we can prorate uh, salary for merit increase or bonus calculation here. So this is a typical employee spreadsheet and I have prepared a couple uh, seven scenarios and let's look at them one by one. So basically I have for each of each, uh, individual employees, I have their annualized salary. Um, I also have their merit increase and bonus as a percentage of annualized salary percent here. So this is assuming that you already have this um, on hand and this is pr it probably varies by person depends on their performance or depends on their compare ratio uh, if you want to know more of that you can probably go back to my mirror matrix video but then here i am just assuming that the percentage is set and i'm focusing on the proration part so uh, for my first case, uh, the person is hired way back and then my annual year end date is December 31st and I know this person is active for the full year which means, well, it's going to be a, a proration of 100%, right? But then I'm going to do that with a formula and to do that actually, uh, the first thing I need to do is actually calculating how many days I have uh, within this current year, which is um, from, December, uh, from January 1st to uh, the year end of December 31st. So I'm going to use a function of days uh, which uh, just follow the prom promo here, which uh, is with the end date and start date. It's going to calculate how many days we have in this given year. Uh, so it's showing 334, but it really should be uh, 335 because um, this formula is not calculating uh, is uh, the like the star date. So we have to make it like plus one to make it 335. So that's going to be the base of calculation we're going to use for proration. And actually in reality, I've seen people prorating uh, using different factors. For example, some people might use 360 days. Some people might prorate um, based on months, not days. Some people might prorate um, uh, also using um, some uh, work days only, for example. So they would only calculate the work days that people have and use that as the, the base for proration. So I, I think any kind of method can work, but it really, I would strongly recommend you to set that up in the policy uh, so that you have something that you can uh, depend on when later on people ask you for uh, for proof. So so okay. So in our case, we know that this um, two thousand seven years we're gonna have three hundred sixty five days. Um, so for my proration percent calculation, the the day uh, the way I use would be, um, I would actually look if my higher date is uh, less or equal to the start date of 2017 and I'm going to make it, um, well, I'm actually going to make this a fixed date. Um, and if that's the case, if that's the case, then I am going to say it's 100%. Uh, if not, uh, let me put a question mark for now. So you can see, this is how I can calculate this to be, we know that this is going to be our 100% um, proration um, for the uh, salary calculation. And which means that um, after that, it's very easy. You just, pro the prorated salary will be the annualized salary times the proration. And then your mirror increase percent will be the pro rate, uh, the dollar, the mirror increase dollar uh, will actually be your prorated salary times 
your mirror increase percent. And that gives you your mirror increase uh, dollar. And it's the same thing for the, your bonus. Uh, you really just use a prorated salary and then times the bonus percent. And then you get whatever bonus uh, dollar you need. So this is really how you calculate. And then basically, those are the formulas applying to everyone else. So you really just copy the formula down. And then the only thing left is to calculate the proration, salary, uh, proration percent. Okay, so now let's look at the second case. So, so the second case is again someone who's hired for uh, a long time ago and that person took a paid leave for 30 days. So the trick here is that uh, usually for compensation purpose, if the person has a paid leave, um, this paid leave should be, cal uh, should be included um, as a paid date even that the person is on leave and one example for that is maybe an education leave so for example if that person goes for like a one month of executive MBA, MBA course and the company sponsors the person to do it so even that that person is on the leave usually we still have to pay them we cannot prorate for those 30 days off but then again it also depends on the company's policy and there's no right answer. So again, like this is a case where we can use um, the formula above and then it's gonna show us the proration is still 100%. Okay, so now we have a third scenario, which is the person is taking an unpaid leave for 180 days. Um, one example for that is maybe a maternity leave and uh, you might need to actually calculate the day the person go on maternity leave and the day they come back and then see how many days that is. Um, but then for our case, you see it's 180 days. So let's calculate um, the proration. The proration we know um, should be uh, the 365 days um, minus the 180 days and then divided by 365. And that gives you 51%. And then this is exactly the prorated salary you would have. And then you use a prorated salary to calculate your merit and bonus percent. And then the next case is the person started during the year. So in this case, actually, you see the person is only active from April 15th to December 31st. How do, how do we calculate that? We need to calculate how many days the person has worked for the company. And to do that, we again use the days function. And then you apply the end date. Uh, oops. Uh, you apply the end date, comma, and then the start date. And then you get the days, right? You get the days for uh, how many days the person is active, and then you just divide it by 365 days to get your percent, which should be a percent. So let me actually make sure um, all the format for my proration should be a percent. Yeah. So that is how you can, again, get the prorated percent. Uh, and then the next scenario is that the person looks like they joined a long time ago. They, they terminated or maybe they left. They quit the company in, uh, in June and then they decide to come back in August. And then somehow they have made the arrangement from the company that we still have to uh, take the days uh, from January to June as an active day. Maybe that's something they negotiated or maybe that's part of the company policy. So again, it really depends on how your company set the uh, policy there. But then for our case, I actually need to calculate how many days they're active between uh, January to June and how many days they're active from um, August to December and then use that as a proration base. So to do that, I again need to calculate how many days are there between June the 25th and uh, January. And then I plus days of um, the end date is December and then the start is August. So this is how many days you have uh, and then divided by 365 days. Yeah, so that's 
the probation factor you use. Um, and then the next case is what if the person retired in the middle of the year? So usually when they say if they, this person quit, of course they, they don't get anything, but the person, if they are retired during the year, usually we still pay them whatever they deserve as active employee between January to say October. So in this case, actually, we would still calculate um, how many days they are active uh, between the retirement date uh, and the beginning of the year, and then divided that by 365 days. And then you get the percent there. Um, and the last case is a pretty unique, but I've seen it also as well, which is a termination due to death. So again, it depends on company policy, but then uh, I think most of the cases, um, you would still grant that person um, whatever bonus or uh, bonus they need um, for the active date to their termination date. And of course, in this case, actually, you do not need to give them any merit increase. And actually, the same for retirement. They would not have any merit increase, but then they would still get a bonus, um, a bonus amount for this year because they have been active for partial year. And then in this case, again, you need to calculate how many days they're active in the year and then divided that by the total number of days, which is like say 55 days and then they still get that much bonus amount. And just know that those people don't get merit increase. Okay, so I've shown you uh, how to calculate prorated salary for a couple of scenarios. This is only one option of proration. There's also uh, different methods of proration and different formulas where you can use. Uh, and I will cover that in maybe uh, some other video in the future. So I, this is all that I want to cover today. I hope that it's been helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.